Hey Drone here, what's going on guys? The Drone Zone! We haven't showed this room on this channel in forever, but it's not about the channel, it's about this, a DIY power bank. You're gonna need a couple of things. I'm using a 3S, you could go down to a 2S, you could go higher depending on the specifications of this little USB thing that you have. You see this one says it could go 12 volts up to 24 volts, but J-Drone, you said you can just use a two cell, that's not up to 12 volts. Well, if you also look at this, it says that output focus, focus, bam, is 5 volts. So ideally, we can go down to 5 volts if we wanted to, but we don't need to do that. So you need a LiPo battery. You need one of these guys. You need a cigarette lighter with a positive and negative lead on the back of it. You need something to connect this positive, this positive, this negative, and this negative. I'm just using alligator clips. Obviously, we can get connector a female on there we could get the proper clips on there we could plug it in it'll be real neat but this is just really quick what i got let Before me we show connect you. everything this i highly recommend this will tell you your voltage because obviously without this you connect all this you start discharging this battery you're not going to know the voltage and you don't want to take it down too low otherwise you could damage cells let me show you how easy this is so we are going to take this and that we are going to take our positive lead here and again, so stuff doesn't arc, I have these taped off pretty well down low. We're gonna go positive. Bamza, we're gonna take this right like that. We are going to go ahead and get our gated clip right here. We're going to go inside that shielding positive that way there's no way that can arc again you can wire this up better you can get the proper terminals and then we are going to go ahead and take our negative lead and we are going to take our negative lead on this same thing we are going to go in here inside the plastic again that way there's no way possible for this to arc if we can get it in there there we go Oh wait, no exposed metal. And then we are going to take our negative lead on here. We are going to connect it to our battery here. We're going to go on the outside and we are going to flip it like this. Okay. Now we are connected. That's it's as simple as that. Again, you can clean up these wires. You can make them look a lot better than what we have here. You can you can tidy up the wires and make them lower length. We can go ahead and plug this in. You can see that we are good we're gonna go one step further on the back of this it tells you positive and negative you need to have your negative down there connect your balance lead just have negative down there it's going to show you all of your cells at 11.5 each individual cell pretty good then all we need to do is go ahead and get our cell phone charger Bam, I'm gonna go ahead and take this, plug this right in here, and I'm actually using the cell phone that I'm going to plug into this, so you're not gonna see the cell phone, but I'm going to take this, and I'm going to plug it into the cell phone. Come on. But let's see, you can see right here, 11.5, 3.83, it was 4. 3.83, it was 4. 3.83. So we've gone down by 0.1. You can use this setup for a bunch of different things. I've already had um, my RetroPie screen plugged into this at the same time and used it for a considerable amount of time. What this thing does, it acts as an LVC. So when this gets under voltage, it'll beep. It'll beep very loudly and say, hey, time to stop using this. Then you will need to recharge this. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Super easy to do. I'll tear everything apart and I'll show you the stuff that you need. And component is this it's a cigarette lighter that's already pre-wired. You could go to the junkyard. You could get one that's not wired, put wires on it, or that is wired. But this looks like a safer bet. It's in a housing. You don't see any exposed metal or anything. Then, obviously, what you're going to need is a 2 or 3S battery. Doesn't matter. Um, and if you're going to go higher, just make sure the third part of this that you need, the specifications on it, allow for higher voltage. This one will, uh, will allow for up to 24 volts. And, uh, again, the last thing that I suggest, which is not needed, but I highly suggest that way you do not damage your lipos, is something like this. And like I said, we can go female. JS uh, female 
XT60 connection, get the proper connections to plug into this, then it'd be super clean. We can also get rid of a lot of the length on these wires. Guys, again, subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this. Uh, hopefully this helps some of y'all because power banks could get a little expensive. And with this, I know you guys have light bulb batteries laying around. You could put these to use. Also, another great idea with this is say you have a light bulb battery that you already charged, but you can't get out and fly. Work's been crazy. The weather's crazy. You can discharge just slowly by charging a cell phone, by playing a system that requires a USB. By hooking all this up and then just plugging into this, you can safely discharge this battery to where you don't have a live charge battery in here. Just as well as say you got a battery that you haven't used in a while, maybe you wanna charge it and maybe you wanna discharge it, but you don't wanna discharge it fast because you don't wanna ruin cells, so do it slowly with this system. Very simple to do. Again, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Let me let me hear them comments down below.